I know one of you wants a cured smoked egg yolk because I saw it in the comments. Which subscriber were you? Were you the hot one? Equal parts sugar and equal parts salt. Mix that sugar and salt up together really well till it's nice and blended. Once your salt and sugar is blended up real nice, we're gonna get it into our curing box. In this case, just a glass container. We're gonna put half of that salt and sugar mixture into our curing box, and then we're gonna pour the other half on top. The easiest way to make these little divots in your salt and sugar bed is just take an egg and just dip it right in. Don't worry, here at Yoke Boys headquarters, we don't waste anything from our eggs. Yolk's up. Get that other half of salt and sugar and we're just gonna top them all off now so they're nice and covered like little snow bunnies. Now all you gotta do is seal that container up and we'll let it sit for seven days in the fridge. Check back in in a week. These egg yolks have been chilling for a week now, so it's time to get them out onto their wire rack and onto the smoker they go. It's time to go digging. Make sure you rinse all that salt and sugar off of there. Get them nice and shiny. Once you've got them rinsed off, just put them on a wire rack and out to the smoker we go. Today I'm using a pellet smoker. You can use any kind of smoker you want. Just make sure it's really low. We wanna get down to like 175, 180. Otherwise, you risk overcooking these things and that's not what we want. I'm gonna throw these on for about an hour or so and that should be enough to dry them out and give them a nice smokiness. Now we wait a little over an hour now, so let's go ahead and check them out. Oh yeah, smoky. Mmm, look at that smoke ring. They kind of look like little stones. Yeah, let's get them inside. <sighs> Those smell heavenly, and since we have a little bit of smoke grease on the outside, we're just gonna pat these down a little bit on a paper towel. Well, they're nice and firm, and they have a smokiness to them. They smell like a smoky umami bomb. Personally, I think these are gonna go great on like some avocado toast, maybe some scrambled eggs. Um, today I'm gonna try avocado toast though, because you got the plain toast, plain avocado, and we wanna umami this up. We wanna give it a mwah. Before I use this for its intended purpose on a real recipe, I'm gonna try a little bit out first. That's very interesting. It's delicious. I mean, it tastes like an egg yolk, but it also has a little bit of smokiness to it. The salt isn't overwhelming. When you do the sugar and salt mixture, it really takes away the saltiness from the one we did in just pure salt. The smoke is very subtle, but it's there and it's good. That's gonna be delicious on some avocado toast. Going sideways. One of the most important ingredients when making avocado toast.
And it wouldn't be right without a little bit of peppercorn medley. Tiny bit of sea salt. And for the finale. Yolks up. That, my friends, is a damn good breakfast. Yolks up. Please like and subscribe if you like the channel. Please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it.